Hello YouTube, today I'm gonna show you a battle between the Seleucids and the Armenians. Right, today I have brought to the field 4 units of Silver Shield Pikemen, Gold Gold upgrades, 2 units of Silver Shield Legionnaires, Silver Silver upgrades, uh, 6 units of Archers, uh, Gold attack upgrades on 4, Silver attack upgrades on 2 with the Bronze defense upgrade. I've also brought along 2 units of Cataphracts, Gold Gold upgrades, and 1 unit of Two units of companion calf, one with my general in it, uh, with gold gold upgrades. Alright, my opponent has bought a pretty big army, so let's go see what he has. He has three units of Armenian heavy spearmen with three upgrades on them each. Uh, his general is a unit of Numidian legionnaires, Armenian legionnaires, sorry. Uh, heavy infantry that fight like Roman legionnaires, but nothing like the quality. Gold gold upgrades on them. He has. 6 units of archers, I think they have the gold gold upgrade. 2 units of force archers, gold gold upgrades. 2 units of Arab uh, light cavalry, gold gold upgrades. And 4 units of cataphracts, gold gold upgrades. Okay, so because my opponent has split his army, I draw my army slightly to the left and angle it to face the majority of his army. In the meanwhile, he sends his force archers to quickly harass me. My archers return fire, but they quickly enter the Cantabrian circle at least look they try to uh, to minimize arrow fire which sort of works quite successfully right, so in this battle my opponent outmatches me with his calf he has way more calf with with equal or better quality to mine he has more archers with better quality they have more defense than mine but my infantry are much better than his right so here he proceeds to skirmish with my archers, he brings quite a lot of them down but I'm not overly bothered because the focus on this battle won't be on my archers but it'll be on my infantry. I need them to win, not my archers, in some weak skirmisher fight. Alright, uh, seeing as my opponent is complacent enough just to shoot at my men, I advance my pikes, my infantry forward in loose formation and minimize casualties and he advances his archers up very soon. Right here is my opponent uh, moving up his archers on my right wing and they immediately start bombarding this rightmost pikeman unit and they will suffer very high losses and will be deplete depleted almost by half. Seeing that the missile battle is taking place on the right flank, I move my silver shields to shield my archers from any uh, cavalry rushes and I move more archers up to reinforce these archers that are faring quite poorly. As you can see this unit of silver shields they're suffering quite badly being shot from the right side where their shields don't protect them. Not that their shields are great anyway and they're just being massacred but my ar and my archers don't really seem to be having that much of an effect on my opponent's archers. I've, brought, I've killed quite a few but not that many. Here my opponent decides to move his uh, infantry body up, supported by archers, to begin firing on my pike. So here's where I decide that enough of this skirmish fight, let's make something of, let's make this a proper battle. So I charge my pikes forward, I leave the rightmost unit to act as a rear guard, although I leave them a bit too far back to support my flank, and this leaves my flag way wide open this cataphracts and it almost ends in disaster. Here my opponent denies his right flank, my left, and draws his pikemen into a box but then lose formation and that makes them even worse off against my much longer pikes. But I see my opponent moving his massed cataphract formations in. My comp uh, micro error, my general gets snagged. Okay they smash into this silver shield pikemen unit and then lose formation and they get squashed. In the meanwhile, I'm quickly moving my cataphracts up, knowing that I've left them too far behind. They manage to charge into his before they're ready, and but they manage to pull away before too much happens. Right, this unit of cataphracts gets snagged on my pikes, and they enter fight my pikes. My I bail my companion cav out there before they run into the backs of my men. All right, so he he draws his cataphracts back. I draw my cav back. And he makes a rush with his Arab Light Cavalry and my unprotected archers, but I don't really care about them. There's so few of them left, it doesn't really matter. Meanwhile, my uh, pikemen, my two units of full-strength full pikemen are having a field day with his loose formation. 
heavy spearmen and my cataphracts and other micro were on my part. I was tired and they run into my men. Yep. Luckily I don't use too many cataphracts. Meanwhile this uh pike unit guarding my flank is getting rained, is getting like mauled. He pulls his pike his spearmen back uh into a tighter formation as my pikemen uh, push forward even more. I move my cataphracts in for the kill. A frontal charge into his general unit. Uh, this uh, Armenian spearman unit routes. His general routes and is killed about. About. Very soon. Very soon. Okay, anyway, I keep. Yep, there he dies. Yep, there he goes, trampled beneath my cataphracts. So here he charges his cataphracts in into my flank. I quickly move my pack up, my packs up to support, and while my cataphracts are holding the line against his mass cataphracts, I send my companions around. Uh, he's moving his Arab cav up to my arc. Okay, with my infantry support, his cataphracts they they're seeing too many of the allies run, and they just they mass route. My general chases them. My silver shields uh, catch these um, uh, Arab cav, and my companions chase them, and there's no chance for them. They get slaughtered. And at this point, uh, I'm just mopping up here, chasing down the remnants of his men. So here my opponent admits defeat. Uh, he almost had me, but I managed to pull through because of the strength of my pikes. So here you can see the result screen. I, uh, my opponent was of the USSR clan, L server 51, bracket SM. So he deployed 1,237 men, killed 697, uh, 239 men remaining. I deployed 1,343 men, killed 990, and had 743 remaining. So good game to my opponent, server 51, and see you guys next time.